Shimai GTHMs, the final car I'll be customising out of the new DLC is the Obey Omnis E GT, which is an OD e-tron GT for 1.8 million from Legendary Motorsport. So here she blows. What's my fella doing there? Look, he has having a cigarette. He doesn't smoke. Anyway, Omnis Sports. Let's uh, upgrade this to the max. And let's um, think about what we're going to do with it. So bumpers. I think we can figure them out from here. Oh yeah, that colours that in. I kind of like that, but I kind of like the black as well. Hmm. As a first build, I think we'll stick with a black accent and go stock. Don't think I'm going to add that. That's too loud for me for today. So on the rear, I like the black again. I think we're going to remain stock on that as well. Engine upgrade, fenders. Okay, so we can put some vents in there. I'm not sure that benefits anybody but I'm not sure I like the look of them the front they look tasteful enough that'll do grill front grill so what can we do with that oh it's a matter of coloring it in or taking the color away um, I probably want to take the color away I think and carbonize it I think that's it for me that's the one um, hood don't normally carbonize the hood um, but that's the only options. Oh, that's pretty terrible, isn't it? It's secondary hood or carbon. We're going to go primary. Stick with it. Stock. Right. Liveries. This could be interesting. I think we need some decent liveries at this point because customization wise, it's not brilliant, is it? Standard stripe. Good. Tiger print. I like that. Oh, that's a nice one. The go green. Go green. Yeah. Um, the German Germanic, yeah, Germanic stripes, good. Uh, what else? Oh, that's like a dirty one. Raceway attack. That might be nice in a different colour, with a, a white or a grey. Oh, hard abstraction. I'm tempted. Or oh, oh, the standard Audi. Um, Audi or Bay Works Racer. Maybe it's going to be that one. Yeah, why not? Let's do a kind of racer. Plate, it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be that. Respray primary colour, going for the classics here. Sunrise orange, what is the primary colour doing? What? It just colours up that bit. What the freak? Oh, that's a bit crazy. Okay. I see what it's colouring up there. It's a livery, isn't it, that's doing that? Um, let's just put, go for that because I want to know what the secondary is now. Oh right, um, we still have the red, don't we? Secondary is colouring up those, so let's go for a white. That'll be an in between it. Gonna do some race performance on this car as well. Seems we've got a bit of time, hopefully, to see how it gets around the track. Bleach brown to begin with. Purple, no. Cream. I think is a bit better. Oh, actually, ice. No, let's leave it at cream. Okay, let's go back to that primary because I'm not sure if sea green is doing it. Gasoline green, that's more like it. And we could go black. Galaxy blue, that is. Let's wang that on just for now. Yeah, the dark colour, I think it's got to be something dark. Could go for a wine red or something. Why oh, it's a bit tricky. I thought this livery. I thought this one was going to be easy. Midnight purple. Oh, it looks the same, really, doesn't it? But purple is nearly red. So on that basis, we're going to stick with that. I'm happy. Um, crew emblem goes on the bonnet. Nice. Okay, roof. Hopefully, we've got something decent on the roof. Secondary roof. Nope. I think we like that pattern. Got these vents here, the uh, vortex generators. Sorry, not vents. Oh, that is terrible. What is it with roof boxes? They like make car all cars look ugly. They're functional. Why would you put it in a game? I mean, yeah, I understand why, but why would you put it on your car? I've not done it. I'm not going to do it. Not even for a joke. What, what is the difference between those? Cheap. Those are cheaper. Okay. Skirts. Uh, these are a bit too loud for the car. You can put the canards on, but 
I'm not into that really, so we ain't going to do that. A spoiler, I suspect we're going to need that. I'm going to put on a roof spoiler. I can't remember if this is the one that's got um, active spoiler, so I think I'm going to just do that roof spoiler because we need it for the traction. I mean, they're okay, but maybe that one there, the um, race wing. Or I think the roof spoiler has got to be the way. It's going to give us some kind of traction. I mean, it is kind of ugly. But we're going to take that hit and hope it gives us extra traction. Competition suspension, it's for the race. Wheels, all right, those are nice rims. Tire enhancements, bulletproofs. Tire design we don't have, but we do have tire smoke in red color. I'm going to, I'm going to stick with those rims because they are amazing, um, unique. Windows, we could limo it out. It is, um, but it's a race car. We don't normally limo out race cars. Will it look better though? Um, yes, it will. So we'll do that. Nice. So that is it. Finished. Going to give it a bit of a first drive while we can. Oh, it's night. It's an electric vehicle. For those who didn't know, you can you can hear that now. Don't worry, we'll do a drive in light as well. But just to get a bit of a feeling for it, first of all, before I go to the racetrack. Acceleration's okay, it's, a, it's a electric. Speed doesn't seem to be brilliant. Actually, is it all-wheel drive? Come on, come on, do it right. There we go. Yes, it is. Well, that's nice, isn't it? Seems to. There's the active spoiler, I can see it now. I've just noticed the active spoiler. Which is nice. Decent car, you know, it's decent drive. I wasn't going to buy this, but I thought, why not? Just do it. Yeah, definitely. Definitely worth considering. But I'm going to see how it compares to the other electric cars on the test track. Okay, let's, let's crack on with that, shall we? This is the very best lap. Now, notice on the corners you'll hear some squealing of tyres because it slips a hell of a lot. It's not just the understeer that's the tricky bit. It's a slip on the tyres. And it seems to be a bit of a problem with uh, some of the electric cars. Um, but maybe because they're all-wheel drive and that's kind of what they do. But I just wish it had more grip. Um, that's... Very nice, so very nice little, little nice little car, um, but very difficult to get consistent lap times. Watch out for the water as well, you don't want to get through that. So the right hander, not too bad. Big left hander, one, two, holding it okay, three. And then we should go full speed through here, and then just do a, a tap on the brake, there it is. And now the big million degree angle there. That is a bit of a nightmare to get around. But that is the best lap I got. So there we go. Race performance wise, uh, I found it difficult really, you know, getting the getting the laps in consistently because of the um, the lack of grip on the corners. It, it's it's a little bit like the Raiden, but it's not as bad as the Raiden with the, the amount of slip you get. Perhaps it's more akin to the Neon. Um, they're all all-wheel drive cars, but the Neon. You know, it stamps all over the other two with uh, test track time, and the neon was um, 57 decimal 20, whereas the uh, Omnis EGT is 58 decimal 18. So I oh, could, and they were second behind, um, and then the Coil Raiden is pretty much dead on the minute. So Coil Raiden, Coil Raiden a lot slower. This is faster, but if you want an electric vehicle car that has Imani tech then maybe this is the one for you it's not the fastest in the world um, but if you like the the Audi e what is it e-tron um, e-tronics so if you like that then this might be the car for you but just bear in mind the customization is not the best with regards to bits and pieces that you can add on to it you know you know like the bonnet you'd want something on there but but it is true to the Audi it, you know, in fairness to it so at least that is good. So let's put on our Imani Tech shall we? because this is kind of one of the reasons why you might be purchasing it and I'll show you the additional price of that. 
which is going to be of the order of 550 grand and that will wrap up the video ultimately um, would I recommend it? Actually there is another Imani Tech um, armor plating so f this is uh, there is another Imani Tech car so 15 150 lovely jubbly yeah it's not too bad is it, it just it blends in nicely and um, funnily enough and then the Imani Tech we would go with the remote missile not, not remote control the missile lock on jammer of course um, and that is what you've got uh, oh proximity mine I didn't put any of those on oh let's put slick mines on why not let's exit um, I went, went the other car just bear in mind you have the greenwood which is also Imani Tech uh, but for me I prefer the greenwood it's not as it's not as fast but it's a it's a classic kind of 70s American um, four-door muscle car what more do you want you know it's it's such an, a nice car and I think customization wise it's got more to offer than this and this is a Let's not forget, it's, a, it's an electronic car, not everyone likes them. Despite the fact it's all-wheel drive, which some people rave about. But maybe that's overrated as well. But look at that, all over the place. So let's have a look at that muscle car and compare them, like for like, why not? I'll show you what it's all about. Uh, would I recommend purchasing this? I'd probably wait for it to be on discount, to be honest. Um, uh, but uh, well, me, I put, the, um, I put the Greenwood ahead of it. Look at this. I mean, the Greenwood, it just looks... It's a classic 70s look. It's got better customization options. And maybe not not to your taste, this particular green um, colour. But... Um, and not as modern. So if you're not into... If you're into modern cars, go for the Audi. If you're not into modern cars, go for the Greenwood. Simple as that. Anyway, if you found this useful, if you found it useful, like and subscribe. Give me your comments. You know, tell me what you think. That'd be great. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day if you are playing the new DLC in GTA.